My dad wanted me to play a lot of sports and I just picked that up and I met some of my greatest friends in softball and that's what led me to just continue playing softball throughout my whole life. She always was taking care of her, bossing her around, reprimanding her, just acting like a mom. Driving an hour and a half out into the desert and playing out there, getting up at five in the morning on Saturdays and Sundays, but she loved it. It's probably one of like the greatest years of my life. I love softball and I love all my friends here, so it's really emotional to like say it's my last, um, my last time being here and being able to play with all my best friends. So. I first started playing softball when I was around five years old. I didn't only play softball, I played soccer growing up. So I started out soccer when I was about three to four. They were in sports starting at three with the Mommy and Me soccer, which my husband took her to. It was a soccer league and I ran around with uh, her and all the other kids and all the other moms. So it was, it was pretty fun. My dad wanted me to play a lot of sports and I just picked that up and I met some of my greatest friends in softball and that's what led me to just continue playing softball throughout my whole life. So me and my family are really close. I have a little sister, Jackie, who is a year and a half younger than me. And she's like my best friend. She always was taking care of her, bossing her around, reprimanding her, just acting like a mom, just taking care of her like she was her baby. They shared a room till I think she's maybe sixth grade. We moved to a four bedroom home and they still stayed in the same room. I'm like, we don't need these other two rooms. Why do we have this big house? Well, me and my sister are really close in age. She kind of looks just like me. We kind of, we sound alike. We're both opposite. Like we both have different personalities. We mesh so well together and we're just best friends. And then around middle school, I had a choice of whether to stick with softball and play club or travel ball softball or club soccer. And I chose softball because honestly, because I have my best friends there. Uh, that was when we entered travel ball era. That's when it really took off and uh, she had private coaching for hitting, fielding. Once we got into the travel ball scene, that's when it kind of focused on that. Driving an hour and a half out into the desert and playing out there, getting up at five in the morning on Saturdays and Sundays, playing four games all day. It was exhausting, but she loved it. And we traveled a lot, but not like other parents did. We traveled a couple different states, but she got recruited in 15 miles from our home in California. So it was uh, kind of lucky on our part. Coach came to look at one of our pitchers, but was there and saw Vicky, and she said, I remember her writing me a letter. So she remembered the name, and then she just started, by chance, she's, she was on that team that the coach was looking at for a pitcher for a different college, and there Vicky was. And from then on, it was Bradley. <laughs> And when she was watching my teammate pitch, she saw me play second base, and that's how she got me in the recruiting process and followed me along the rest of the summer. I ended up committing to Bradley around the beginning of my senior year, like the summer coming into my senior year of high school. I mean, it was kind of relieving to finally get committed because that whole summer I was working to get committed to a school, specifically like a Division I school, and Bradley was one of like the, my only options. Um, it was just really relieving to finally get committed to a school because it was just a big worry that whole summer. She liked it here. She liked being far enough away. She liked it to be in Division I. She liked it to be in a smaller school. For her education-wise, it was a good major for, for her school for her major. And she just liked the whole size of it. And she didn't get lost in the shuffle, when, like in the classrooms. So I think that was a big selling point. My first year was probably the hardest without my sister. Oh, Jackie took it horrible. Yeah. Yeah, she cried a lot. Whenever she leaves, when she comes home and goes back here, um, it's very hard on both of them and me too. Tears are cried for hours after she leaves. So it's tough. Um, I missed my sister probably the most because I was always with her every single day. I mean, I hung out with her every second of the day. So that's probably why it was like the hardest to be away from her. I mean, honestly, like I'm really close with like everyone on the team. And I mean, right when I stepped on the team like freshman year, I always felt like it was like my second family and I was always comfortable with the team and living here. And... Me and her are two peas in a pod. 
We come from like two separate places, but we are very much alike. Thais is, uh, she's one of a kind. When I first met her, I didn't think I was gonna get along with her. But then as roommates, we became best friends and I, mean, I lived with her for two years. Um, she's definitely one of my bestest friends. Been in inseparable ever since. They came a lot when we were in preseason traveling the years before because we were able to travel closer to home. Like we've been in California a lot, New Mexico, just places where it's easier to travel. The past three years, I, I think we yes. we didn't miss yes. really miss any tournaments. We were we were going mostly all over, seeing her pretty much every other week. Nice job, Vicky! I had a half year left for my diploma. I never, I never finished college. So I'm very proud of her. I'm very proud of her. She took this the whole time. She came all the way out here on her own. She did this all by herself. So I'm, I'm very proud. And in, in my words, I would say she kind of went in as an athlete and she's coming out as a student because I mean, she's been on that, is it the Dean's List? The last four semesters in a row? I mean, so she's coming, she's coming out a student. I'm very proud of her. Straight A's. It's probably one of like the greatest years of my life. I love softball and I love all my friends here, so it's really emotional to like say it's my last, um, my last time being here and being able to play with all my best friends. So, yeah. okay, I'm fine. Me and Thais were always the loudest. Get it out, Peoria! Totally worked out. Great job. All right. Oh, that's it.